All right, all right. So what we've gone ahead and done is we've inserted disc two, which for some reason is making an extremely loud loading sound, but that's okay. That's intentional. I mean, the system was made to be loud so that you know, all your neighbors know, I got a fucking Sega CD, son. I'm the fucking man in this neighborhood, and you better bow down to me because I fucking play Slam City every night. So just bend on over every time that you fucking see me. But anyway, let me go over here and see if I can kind of shut this up. Stop doing that. Okay, so I slapped the shit out of it, and now the sound seems to have stopped. So now look, we're going to play Juice, and Juice is the girl. Okay. This is interesting. Juice, huh? Apparently she's clear. Alright, so something obviously is going wrong here. Let's go. Come on, man. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the system. Because this is actually one of the safety features of the system. The system actually intentionally doesn't work every once in a while because they want to make sure that you're taking proper breaks between gaming. They don't want you to have your heart rate go so high that you have a heart attack in the middle of the game. So this is understandable. Let's reboot the system and see if we can get this to work. I'm actually, I'm kind of appreciative that they did that because I, I do have high blood pressure and I didn't actually want to have to go to the hospital tonight. So here's a, the title screen again, Sega CD with the classic music. Let's get this shit started. With the classic, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. And as you can tell, they intentionally didn't put a year of release here on this screen because they knew this game was timeless and that the dialogue and gameplay was just going to be epic no matter what year you play. Slam! Son, we're going to slam that shit. Oh yeah, slam it right in the fucking hole, boy. Tom Zito is a fucking genius, let me tell you. If I ever meet that guy, I I'm just going to give him my whole wallet. Just on the spot. Alright, so now we're going to play Juice. So let's, uh, let's get this booted up. Here we go. Oh yeah, here she comes, Juice. Boy, I'm going to drink you like milk. What? You're gonna drink me like milk? That sounds really sexual. I'm sorry. You're gonna drink, drink my fucking dick juice like milk? Go ahead. Okay. Probably help if you take a shower every once in a while or maybe shave those fucking giant caterpillars on your face that you probably call eyebrows. But anyway. Fucking reject it again. And it's funny because she does seem to only be half my height, yet she can actually reach above my head and stop every shot at a whim. It's amazing. She's got amazing talents. Okay. You know what? You know what? Fuck you, fingers. Anyway, I gave her that one. I actually gave her the ball for some mercy. That's why I didn't want it to be a total, you know, wipeout. See, again, I felt bad. I was like, I'm fighting a, I'm uh, playing a girl. Shut the fuck up, Bobby. Anyway, uh, I did that on purpose. So let's try to make a shot now. Here we go. Here it goes. And fuck, get that rebound. You're twice as tall as her. Oh, she still gets it. Okay, whatever that meant. And immediately I'm going to have to just stop her right in her tracks. Because obviously she's only half as fast as I am. Me being a big strong male. And her being a tiny little midget black woman. And immediately she makes the shot. It's crazy, I mean. I'm obviously just being nice to her. Yet the game's treating it like she's actually beating me. And I jump him. Get that rebound immediately. Okay, the ball teleports into her hands. Wow. You know what I really like is the soundtrack. It really does represent the ethnicity and the beats of the time. The music, it just embodies all of it in one consolidated, repetitive beat that never fucking stops or ends. I mean, who needs different tracks in a video game? We don't need that. Just give us one repetitive loop and we're good. Anyway, the reason that the, the full motion video, you might say, gee, it looks a little bit grainy, it's because Ace actually has uh, about 4,100 vision. He's, he really can't see that well. So, you know, that's the problem. You, the game is so realistic, it actually puts you in the feet and the eyes of Ace, who can't actually see too well. But that's okay. I want to have all the problems that he's ever had in life, including his raging crabs and disgusting athlete's foot. 
which I now have. Anyway, funny how she has her hands down near my balls, even though I would never actually fucking dribble the ball into her crotch like that. It's also interesting that she stops every shot that I attempt. I'm not even gonna try to shoot this time. I'm just gonna dash right in. Watch. Ready? There you go. Oh, go this way. Oh, snap! Look at how I gave her the ball right into her fucking hands. That was a great idea. Let's go. Let's go this way. Okay, we're gonna go there. Oh, oh. Oh, this way! Now we're gonna shoot! Okay. So I'm kind of finding it kind of funny that I can't even get one shot on this girl. Look at that! They didn't even let me go up! It's amazing. I'm gonna juke left, then juke right, then 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 juke right, then juke right, then juke right, juke right, juke right, juke right, you didn't juke right, come on man, juke right! God damn it. Right? Yeah. Got a friend with the Super Rock FM. Get concert tickets to any concert. Wow. Why don't you take him then? Okay. What the fuck? Interesting. People have some uh, really interesting extracurricular activities in this game. But anyway. Make a shot, and I actually make a shot against her. That's pretty cool. I finally score. I get two million respect for that shit. And she immediately blows by me, jams the ball in to end the game in a crushing 7-1 defeat. Wow. Okay, I'll take my butt home, bitch. So... I mean, that's it. What else can be said about this game? I mean, you could just tell, just from the few videos that I've made, that it's just too much to handle. I mean, you really just you need to prepare yourself to play this game. You have to actually do, like, warm-ups and squats and shit so that you can actually randomly get a basket or a dunk here or there with no actual logic explanation of to why you actually scored at that time or what you did with the controls that was successful. But anyway, let's have a little summation of what we just saw, and, uh, yeah.